everyone, this is Carla from Carla Being Crafty and I thought I would come on here today with just like a little extra video. Um, I just received this book in the mail. Um, I ordered it from eBay and I was so um, pleasantly surprised when I looked through this of how beautiful this book was. I thought I would just come on here and show you guys. Um, encourage you to maybe go on to sites like eBay and whatever and look for used books. You can find some um, really great, exciting things. Um, the back of this book has a sticker on it. Uh, you see that? $22. I don't know when this was from. Um, this book was published in 2002, so it's not a new book by any means, but um, I got it on eBay for $5, uh, free shipping. Um, and I went on there before I uh, started this video just to see if there were any others on there before I um, maybe encouraged somebody to go and look. And there were like three or four copies that I saw immediately um, in the seven, eight dollar range. And then there were some that were more expensive. But I'm sure that you can find this if you're interested. Um, it's called The Magic of the Forest in Cross Stitch and Watercolor by Jan Woodman. Um, she, I guess, was a, a watercolorist um, in the 70s and 80s in Australia. Um, and as I said, this book was published in 2002. And it's just chock full of really gorgeous things. And I have to be careful because I was going to do just like a full flip through, but seriously, there's like a chart on practically every page. So I have to be careful about that. Um, but um, I did want to show you the ones that I could. I just, it, to me, I just think it's gorgeous. And um, so I was excited, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this is a lotus water lily with the frog. Um, it made me think of Amy Loves Toad. She'd probably like this page. Um, and let's see. Okay. These are uh, silver leaf daisy. And then it says that this one, um, I think it's this flower that's just reversed and was done in pink with uh, French knots. Um, oops. Um, oh, this page that I wanted to show you. So there are several, um, like, sorry for the glare there. Okay, I don't know if that makes it any better because now it's darker. Um, Okay. Um, yeah, there's a couple wildflower bouquets, so like you can see um, more than one flower in the pattern. And each each flower in this um, is described and um, a little history of that flower. Um, there's, as you can see, I'm skipping bunches of pages here, but then there's this whole section on birds of the bush. I'm really sorry about the lighting here. My apartment is very dark, which is why I usually film in the morning with the windows open. It's evening now. I just got home from work and I received this package and was very excited. So I want to share it with you. Um, this butterfly bell pull I think is just beautiful. There's a monarch right there. So all of these, obviously this whole bell pull is charted, but there's more than just this. Oops, wrong way. Um, oh, here's another wildflower um, wreath. I don't know if you can see. So there's all of the different flowers that are in this particular one. Uh, this is probably the biggest, the biggest thing in the book is this um, sort of coastal, coastal wildflower scape, I guess. 
it's charted, this one's kind of charted weird because um, there's actually two charts. There's a chart of all the flowers and then there's a separate chart with like the background and the sand and everything. And I guess you're just supposed to put them together. Um, there's a couple pages of toadstools. So I guess this was her original artwork and then here it is transformed into cross stitch. And the next page, purple toad toadstool, so same thing. There's the original artwork. And there it is in cross stitch. So pretty. And then there is a sugar glider. And I'm of course skipping like tons and tons and tons of stuff in here. Um, this is the back cover um, flap. So I guess this is the artist, Jan Woodman. She was born in Adelaide, South Australia. And she inherited her, her parents' love of the bush and outback. Her mother was a landscape painter and her father was a photographer. And then in the 70s, she and her husband moved from the city to the country, and she started painting flowers. And uh, anyway, so this is the book. And I just thought I would come on here and do a quick little kind of flip through and share it with you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do. Um, and I will be back with you on uh, either oops, Saturday or Sunday next weekend, my regularly scheduled programming. So this is Carla. Have a great week, you guys. And remember to always be content, be kind, and be crafty. Bye-bye.